Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a church. This is the amount of space required to make your churn. And here are all of the materials that we will need to build in. Begin by placing three smooth quartz blocks in a row on the ground. One, two, three. Then place three stone bricks. One, two, three. Three more smooth quartz blocks. One, two, three. Extend backwards by seven rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then to the right by three. One, two, three. Then extend backwards by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then right one. And then back by four. One, two, three, four. In one. And then a further right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then in one. Right by three. One, two, three. And then extend across the back of the build by twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We then want to extend inwards towards the front of the build by three. One, two, three. And then right one. And then extend towards the front of the build by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you want to extend out one. Extend towards the front of the build again by four. One, two, three, four. Extend in. And then right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We then want to extend into the right by three. One, two, three. And then extend all the way back to where we first started, which will give us this very interesting looking floor plan. Well, from this point, we now want to start adding some details. On the two front corners of the church, we want to extend upwards by four. One, two, three, four. And you can even extend across and then just join down, just like this. We now want to add another row of smooth quartz on top of the two mini rows that we have on the left and right, and then join these two inward blocks up just like this to connect to the top. So what we now want to do is on top of this row of smooth quartz that we have, we want to start adding rows and rows of smooth quartz block that are shorter one row each time as we slowly extend up and just end up with one block at the top like this. We now want to shave a row off of the actual entrance area here, so up at the top, and then add an upside down smooth quartz stairs in the top left and top right corners like this. What we then want to do is grab smooth quartz block and from this position here, so right of the doorway and left, we want to move up and find the smooth quartz block that is in the same row, but just as high as we can possibly go. So we want to take this smooth quartz block at the top of this row and extend it backwards by five. One, two, three, four, five. And then up by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We then want to extend forwards by four. One, two, three, four, and then join down. We then want to take the top two corners and extend across by four, so four blocks each, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, join them together, 
extend these corners down and join them back to the opposite side. So we'll extend these across, join them all together and then extend the corners upwards, which will give us this. So from here, we want to add a dark oak fence in the very center of this empty space that we have here at the top of this tower. And then underneath this, we want to place a row of three, one, two, three, yellow terracotta. And we want to extend the bottom two yellow terracottas outwards in every direction. With then a bell underneath the center block, like this, which will give us this actually not really a good view that we can get of this specifically like of the whole thing, but I think that you guys will manage to make that no problem. Next, we want to extend the two walls of the entrance on the left and right backwards to sit alongside the framework that we have. Now that we've done that, we actually want to raise up the surrounding area as well, and we want to do this by taking any one of the corner blocks that we have around here and extend them up, first of all, by seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this. And then we can extend this block across here and join down to the opposite corner, just like this. And then we actually want to place a row of smooth quartz that kind of like follows along the row of smooth quartz that we have below. So it is a little bit of a guessing game as we're kind of up here, but I do believe that this is lining up nicely. And once we have kind of got the two rows of parallel smooth quartz made, we will be able to add all of the details in between. Yeah, there we go, that looks about right. So the idea is now that we have this shape, we can connect the back two corners of the building up and down, just like this, so that's perfect. And then we primarily want to add detail on the right and left sides of the church. So we want to add rows of smooth quartz here on the left and right of this part of the wall that sticks out. And then that will kind of nicely divide up this wall into three different sections. You can even do it here as well, where the wall kind of like sticks in a bit. The three primary parts that we want to work on is that left part, this middle out sticky part, and then the part to the right. So each one of these will have a window. So first of all, what we essentially want to do is add a row of smooth quartz that sits entirely within the shape that we have already made. If you add a layer just directly inside of that rectangular shape, what we will then be able to do is add an upside down smooth quartz stair in the top left and top right corner of the empty space, and that will form the window frame. So we can do this on the opposite side also, literally just place a rectangular row of smooth quartz all the way along the inside, upside down stairs at the top, left and top right corner, and there we go. It's a little bit different for this middle part. We add a row at the bottom, we add a row at the top, and then upside down stairs in the top two corners, just like this. We then want to fill in this back portion using smooth quartz block, like so. On the back of the build, we also want to have a window as well. So the window is going to be situated directly in the middle of the build. So if we add a row of one, two, three, four smooth quartz on the left and one, two, three, four smooth quartz on the right, and then extend these upwards vertically here and here, that's absolutely perfect. And then we are going to fill the left and right sides in just using our smooth quartz like this get all of these blocked off and then we want to add a row of smooth quartz at the top here upside down smooth quartz says in the top left and top right corner and then once again just kind of at the bottom here that gives us a window perfectly situated right in the middle of the wall and then we can come over to this opposite side and repeat what we did over there, which just in case you've forgotten, we want to add rows of smooth quartz here. So wherever the wall kind of like dips in a little bit or dips out, we just want to fill the areas in 
just like this using smooth quartz block. So we just want to form three separate rectangular shapes, actually four, but we don't count that one. And what we then want to do on the left and right sides here is add an extra row of smooth quartz all the way along the inside like this. And then upside down, smooth quartz stairs in the top two corners. And we want to repeat that on the back also, just like this upside down smooth quartz stairs in the top two corners we then fill this back portion in using smooth quartz like so and then for this part we add a row of smooth quartz at the top at the bottom upside down stairs in the top two corners just like so and that is a huge amount of the structure of the church pretty much made the next part that we should probably do is just fill in these little gaps here using smooth quartz we are only going to focus on filling in like these parts so the more vertical parts we don't really want to extend inwards quite yet and now that we've done that we have three roofs to make so the roofs are all made out of the same thing which is just mangrove stairs and mangrove planks so for the front of the church the roof starts right here literally on the sides the roof will extend all the way up like this and it will connect to the top we actually probably also need some mangrove slabs which is a slight oversight but we'll grab the mangrove slabs and we'll place them right at the top and then extend these stairs all the way down over to the opposite side just like this we want the front of the roof to overhang a row, like so. Same with the slab, stairs like this, overhanging. Upside down stairs underneath the overhanging stairs, and right underneath the middle we'll just have a mangrove plank. And then the roof itself will actually kind of like form around the spire that we've kind of made, the tower. So we just want to place these stairs in such a way that they're kind of like not getting in anybody's way just kind of like this and then behind these we just want to add a row of planks just directly behind that so that it kind of seals it together and then we will have two little gaps here but we can fill these in using smooth quartz the tower itself will also have a roof so uh, for this we are going to place i think that we're going to stick another row of smooth quartz block on top of this right just like this because I want to maintain the height of the tower and then around that we can just place rows of mangrove stairs so um, these will be similar to actually not similar at all so this is a more of a square roof we literally just keep we just keep placing mangrove stairs in kind of like rings or squares all the way around this until we eventually reach the very top and then eventually we will only have room for one block which we will make an actual mangrove just up at the top here or alternatively we also want to place a cross up here so we can place the cross directly on top of this we could even place it on top of a wall of some sort as well maybe like a stone brick wall or something so depending upon how you kind of like want it to look but the idea is this so on top of the actual tower here we want to have a row of one two three four five gold block we take the block just one way from the top and we extend it left and right like this to form a cross and there we go that's perfect so something that i want to do whilst we are kind of like focusing on the front of the build also is adding a row of stone bricks directly out of the front of the road that we already have stone brick stairs all the way around the edge of this form sideways onto the side of the church and i also want to grab oak leaves and place a layer of these just left and right of the actual entrance because i don't know i i feel as though that we're making really good progress with this and i, I kind of just wanted to continue that going so now that we have done this ladies and gentlemen the next thing that we are going to do is add the roof for this part of the church so this part of the church it's going to be the back part the final part we want to place mangrove stairs all the way around the edge of the top of the smooth quartz that will give us a one row gap away from the top of the windows it just looks kind of aesthetically pleasing or at least it does to me and we will extend these all the way around and they will eventually connect in the opposite but equal position that uh, that they did on the opposite side so they will kind of connect to the little actually 
I thought they connected to something, they don't. We actually have to extend them and connect them to themselves. I thought that they actually connected to the tower, but it's actually no big deal at all. So they just kind of like wrap around and they connect back to themselves. So with that, we kind of have to figure out how tall this roof is going to be. So we also have to figure out like whether we want the roof to be shaped here on the side. So um, do we do we prefer this where the roof kind of like juts out a little bit, or do we kind of like this, knock out the slabs, uh, the quartz block at the top, and then kind of like make this smooth? That is a design decision. I think I prefer this myself, so um, on this opposite side also. So instead of having the stairs kind of like conform to the shape of the window, we'll have it extend straight across, remove the top layer of smooth quartz using the mangrove planks, and then these planks will join together in kind of like a rectangular ring as... Uh, as they kind of have been before. But on the back part of the church, we will still keep the shape. It's just something about that centre part. I just didn't quite like. So we just want to extend there. If you want to shape it ever so slightly better, like you could even perhaps add a layer of slabs so it's not quite as flat, you might prefer that. You could even leave a slab off on the left and right. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know which I actually prefer. It's it's not a massive detail, but maybe we can make a decision on that later. And then, last but not least, I'm thinking, do we add one more row to the roof? Because then it is as high as the roof, just kind of like on the front. It's actually a little bit higher if we were to add just one more layer of mangrove stairs. Then it's just one row higher than the front, and it just helps to add a little bit of... Um, a little bit... A little bit more depth to the build really so it just kind of adds a little bit more layers it's just a little bit more different so yeah we'll add a third and final layer of mangrove stairs and then we will fill the center of it in using either slabs so that it's again just a little bit higher once more or we will fill the top of it in with planks i'm i'm leaning more towards planks to be honest so kind of like a more flat look Yeah, so that's kind of like the the actual shape of the roof. I, I think that that's good because it, it does kind of like now now it's a little bit higher. And then yeah, we're just gonna go with the mangrove planks. I think just to fill the entire thing in. Now that we've filled the roof in, the next thing that I want to do is add all the details to the outside of the church so that we can solely focus on the inside. So the first detail is adding a couple of rows of smooth stone directly in front of the width of the grid, right in front of the church, and this is going to act as a pavement slash sidewalk, like so. The next thing is going to be to shovel out in front of the entrance and connect to the sidewalk like this with some dirt path. I'm also going to dig underneath the stairs and replace them using smooth stone like this. Perfect. The next thing that I want to do is add terracotta all the way around the edge of the remaining part of the grid and this is just going to serve as a wall. If you like, you can double up on this, make it two rows high, but I think that one row is quite sufficient. And then last but not least, I am going to replace all of the grass block inside of our plot of land using lime terracotta because I just prefer it as a grass material rather than the actual grass itself. So I'm going to cheat to do this. There we go. Perfect. 
Next, we actually have to make the main entrance to the church. So to do this, we're going to add a couple of rows of red terracotta just behind the actual entranceway here. And then we want to add some, first of all, let's add the door. So the spruce door here is going to be right in the middle of this actual entranceway, which we then just want to fill in using spruce planks just around the door. And that's how we'll actually get in and out. So next, we are going to just kind of extend the area backwards here, like this, using the smooth quartz. And I'm thinking that I don't actually quite like the extra row of spruce planks here, but there's not too much that we can do about it, to be quite honest. So the next thing that we're going to do is just add an extra row of, first of all, just inside of the tower here, we'll add an extra row of smooth quartz, just kind of like connect it together. But then underneath the whole thing, we are going to add smooth quartz like this. And that will just fill this area in nicely, like it will just smooth this area off. Uh, you could even shape it a little bit if you wanted to. So like if you wanted like a bit of the roof involved, so you could add upside down mangrove stairs here, just underneath these two parts, right? And then we could shave off the smooth quartz that we've just placed. So this is just an idea. You don't have to do this at all. And then we can, being very clumsy here, and then we could add another row here and here. And then that would look pretty good. I don't think that we can really go too much. We could go just one row higher. So we could... So we, we are kind of like inside of the bell tower at this point, but that's that's kind of okay because we're not really going to see it too much anyway. So we could just add an extra row here. And then that just kind of looks structural or foundational, I think. I, I quite like it. And we can fill in the area here. So this, is, this entrance area is a little bit different from the rest of it. We're kind of going for a very, very, very simple vibe inside of the church. So right in the entrance here, we just want to have... Um, just red terracotta for the floor and then we just want to have some bookshelves and these bookshelves just want to sit kind of like right in the middle here we could even build them into the little bit of roof that we've just added as well that might be a nice little extra touch and then if we want to add any further detail to these then we can later but what we then want to do is actually add the so do we need this row of yes we do that that would actually we definitely need to keep that but we are going to fill the actual root like I, I think that i want to drop the roof a little bit is, is essentially what i'm getting at here so i'm thinking we we want to use mangrove planks and here i'm actually going to forget about that if i don't go and fix that right now i don't know if you guys are like this at all but i will 100 percent forget and then i'll see it at a certain point in time and it will drive me crazy so we are going to extend mangrove planks all the way backwards so we're going to place the planks directly underneath the plank row that we have for the roof already so we'll just fill the roof in like this or the ceiling in i should say And now that we've worked on the ceiling, we should probably work on the floor as well. So the floor is pretty much entirely red terracotta.
So to actually fill these windows in, we are going to first of all have to double layer them using smooth quartz. So we'll just fill in the gaps here, just at the top and the bottom in between this middle window and then we will be able to then place glass behind this so just to show you and we will alter this later so just just for the sake of showing you so we can now place glass behind this and then we can see it from the outside and it looks really good it sits behind the stairs and then on the inside it looks nice and normal but if we try it with these windows here we're left with these weird gaps so what we have to do is essentially add a frame around the windows just like this we don't have to extend these stairs backwards but in adding the frame then that allows us to place the glass in the middle if you guys see what i'm talking about so we have to add this here here and i'm thinking that we want to place either quartz brick or chiseled quartz block just at the base of each of these windows so we'll st we, we will keep the middle window kind of like as an alcove in relation to the rest of these but we want to have these two windows stick out and then once again we'll we will add glass to these individually because there is a choice as to what we can do with those but we want to do this on the opposite side also so once again we want to first of all just add a double layer of smooth quartz just all the way around the edge of this window and we will use yeah quartz brick i think is is nice so we'll stick with that so we'll place that there fill in around the window just like this Perfect, so it's nice and even on all of the sides. And we'll even have to do a similar thing at the back here, but we are just going to extend around this window like this. We'll add a bit of a frame in just like so. Um, it almost doesn't matter at the bottom of the top because, well, you'll see later, but we will just have all of the framework placed in here and we will work on the details of these in a little bit. So next we are going to add the seating. So the seating starts all the way at the front of the church here, right in front of these walls next to the bookshelves. And we want to place one, two, three uh, dark oak stairs extending out from the wall in towards the center aisle here. And we'll stick a spruce sign on the end. Leave a gap of one and then do the same thing moving forwards. And then leave a gap of one and place a row of spruce planks in front of this. We then want to leave a gap of one, and then this time we have a longer row, but it wants to equal the length of the other rows, like, in the middle. We then want to add, once again, the spruce sign on the end, leave a gap, row of stairs, sign on the end, leave a gap, and then lastly, a row of spruce planks in front of this, leaving a gap. So, two sets of seats, and then a rest, two sets of seats, rest. What we then want to do is the exact same thing on the opposite side. So start all the way at this wall. One, two, three, dark oak stairs, spruce sign. One, two, three, spruce sign, spruce planks in front, leaving gaps all the way. Leave a gap. Row of four stairs this time. Leave a gap. Four stairs. Leave a gap and then spruce planks and that is perfect. Next, we want to make a platform at the back part of the church where we will actually have a podium and an organ and also some plants and stuff as well. So the positioning for this is from each end of the two rows of spruce planks that we have here, we move back one and then in one. We want to place a smooth quartz. So back one, in one, smooth quartz. Upside down smooth quartz stairs connecting these together. We then want to extend smooth quartz blocks backwards just like this. Connect them together as they hit the wall so that leaves a nice little 3x3 three three square right in the middle and then we can fill this in using red terracotta. We then want to add a row of smooth quartz stairs here on the left. This was one row backwards and here on the right that is just one row backwards as well. And then we are going to fill these two remaining parts of these platforms in using dark oak planks. So just here on the left and the right just to add a bit of contrast. This area here we actually want to kind of like carve this out a little bit. So we, we want to add a row of smooth quartz here at the bottom. And then we want to add 
one, two smooth quarters here on the right side moving up, one, two here, and then one in the corner, one in the corner like this. And we want to extend this one row backwards. So we're making the shape of a cross, and it kind of wants to sit like nice and perfectly in the middle of the wall. It's kind of like the first thing that you see as you walk in. So next we want to add a lectern right in the front middle of this platform with a book and quill inside of it. And then on the front two corners here, we are going to grab, we actually need the dark oak fence. So here, dark oak fence on the two front corners, end rods on top, and then candles on top of these, and then we're going to light them, just like this. So that actually provides a nice little bit of light for this particular part of the church. Then, on the left side, we are going to use brown glazed terracotta and oak leaves. So, brown glazed terracotta along the bottom, a couple of rows of oak leaves just along the top here. And then, on the right side, we want to grab spruce planks, a loom, and then we need yellow banners, brown dye, we need the spruce fence, spruce trap doors, we even need a spruce pressure plate as well, which I do believe I left in the chest outside, so I'll just grab it. So we're going to start off by placing spruce planks just at the back here, with then looms in front. Then we want to flip up a couple of trap doors just left of these looms, like so. We then want to raise up, we could even do with these spruce slabs as well, so we want to place one, two, and then three planks on top of each other with a spruce slab just up at the top. We might even make this a little bit taller because we can have like, yeah, okay, so we're going to actually raise up this slab until we're half a row away from the ceiling. And then on the left side here, we want to place, say like one, two, three planks. And then on the right, just two, like this. And then in front of the middle loom, we want to place a spruce fence, a spruce, a spruce fence with a spruce, spruce pressure plate on top of it. That is a real tongue twister. So we will end up with this appearance. So this is most of an organ. So what we can actually do is use one of the looms that we've placed on for the actual organ, for the keys, place a yellow banner in there with brown dye, make the stripy pattern, and then we just want to place these along the actual like back of the organ, like raising all the way up to the ceiling, and it kind of looks like the pipes. So we have an organ, we have an actual podium, we have ourselves some plants. Um, I'm also going to add some light in the form of uh, chains and lanterns, preferably together. So these are going to hang from the ceiling. I don't, do we want to have them hug the wall? Yeah. So they're going to hug the wall, and we'll pro we'll have them be. Yeah, we'll have them like this. So we'll have them in rows of one, two, three chains hanging from just next to this center, hanging next to the center window here with a lantern just underneath the fur chain. So one, two, three, lantern, one, two, three, lantern. And I think that that is an ample amount of light inside of the church now. So, last but not least, we just have to add a bunch of... It'd actually be easier if we didn't have, if we had some more space. So, we just need a bunch of colourful glass, and maybe even not so colourful glass, because it's, it's kind of up to you how you want to do this. Um, we have a bunch of windows around the church. Um, the windows that we have here at the front, I'm just going to use black stained glass pane, because it contrasts really nicely against the white. And I just, I, I just think it looks nice. So we can use that for the two little mini windows here at the front. The side windows, it's kind of up to you how you want to fill them in. So initially, I filled them in using just black stained glass. But you could use glass pane as well if you wanted to. So the, here's the idea. So we can use glass pane here for the kind of like the the side windows, the windows that we have like more than one of, say. And then in the middle here, we can actually apply some actual like glass panes, so or stained glass panes. So like in churches, uh, I mean, if, if you guys have ever been to church, you know, I, I have a couple of times, not recently, but you know, it's changed a few times in my life, and um, there's always these like really nice looking stained glass window panes that depict different things from, you know, the Bible and what have you, or whatever it may be, and um, this is also an option, so I like the idea, at the very least, the middle two windows being like stained glass, and... I mean, you could even do it for all of them, but I mean, let's take a look at the side and we can kind of like um, see what we like. So 
yeah, I don't know. It doesn't it? It just looks. It makes the center one stick out a lot more if you actually just do it to that one. But it's it's completely a personal choice, and it actually balances really nicely as well. So if you do just make these side windows black stained glass pane. And then the center windows, we are, you can even use a larger range of these if you like the glass panes. Um, it actually look, it might even look a little bit better, I don't know, but or just arrange them in such a way that I mean that's that's fine also. Uh, that looks really nice. And then we want to make the cross uh, at the back here. We want to turn this into a nice little stained uh, glass pane images well yeah it just i think that with the centers like it just really does help to highlight them i just do think that it looks better and actually once you've actually figured out what you want to do with the windows ladies and gentlemen we've actually completed this tutorial thank you so much for watching ladies and gentlemen i do hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial please do remember to like the video subscribe to the channel and i hope to see you guys in the next one goodbye